Hey everybody, it's Ed here. Uh, I'm going to do an episode today, what I'm going to call playing with iOS music apps. And today the featured app is going to be Auto Bass from Kem Olke. I'm going to keep this pretty short. Um, I'm just, I got a lot of stuff that I've already got pre-configured and uh, I don't want to spend a lot of time going into all these settings and things like that. Uh, there's other people that do that much better than me, like Jade Star, fantastic videos, on, and she's got one on this. Leo at Sound for More. And then uh, Sound Test Room, I haven't seen it yet, but they'll probably have one, if not already. Um, those three are highly recommended. So if you want to see uh, settings, know how the features work, all these settings and how they work, go there. What I'm going to show you today is my example of... I want to compare, you know, what can this app sound like, you know, and how does it compare to something like Riffer, which I've got here, and Rosetta Baseline. I love both Rosetta and Riffer. They're fantastic apps. Um, and I want to just get a feel of, you know, how does this kind of compare in terms of flavor? Um, there's so many settings in each one of these. I can't possibly do an A-B comparison and, and, and make it fair. All I can do is show you an example of like, I threw these settings together very quickly. Let's just see how they sound, you know, one, two, and three. And um, that's really all I can do. So what I have here, just to show you real quick, I got this auto bass set up. I have Polybud added, and this is going to be feeding in auto bass. It's going to modify that bass line. If you want to find out how it works, Go see the video at Sound for More Leo's channel. Um, he's got a fantastic video. He was the one that uh, where I got this idea from. I stole it from him, and I took a, a, an extra step here and added Rhythm Bud to make it even uh, more different. And uh, I kind of like the results. So let's go into it. So we're going to start with just these three active. Let's kick it off and take a listen. Make sure I got it in the right pattern. Okay, pattern number one sounds good. Let's give it a kick. All right, so that's an example right there. Um, let me just run through a couple more examples here real quick. Let's look at pattern number two and three. I'm going to go back to that, and I'm also going to show you um, a couple different patterns in rhythm, but I got snapshots here where I stored a couple different settings. So we're going, to, we're going to just go through those one after another really quick, and then I'll come back and we'll look at Riffler, uh, sorry, Riffer and Rosetta Baseline. So let's kick this off. Again, let's go to pattern number one. Now let's look at pattern number two. Number three. Those aren't great, but you know I whip these together really quick. And uh, but I did the same thing with Riffer and Bass uh, Rosetta Baseline, so it's probably a fair comparison. I'm sure there's other folks out there going to have fantastic examples, much better than mine. But let's jump over here. Let's pop these out, and let's put in Riffer. Let's go to pattern number one and kick that in. Just get a flavor for it. And this is just a random pattern that I threw together with some settings sort of comparable to uh, auto bass. I 
think you get the idea. Let's pop that out and let's pop in Rosetta Baseline. And let's go to pattern number one. Again, these are just ones I randomly generated. Um, I didn't spend a whole lot of time trying to find really good ones or anything. I just, I just tried a few and I said, okay, good enough. Let's give this a listen. Let me make sure I got the settings correct. Looks good. Yep. All right, here we go. <laughs> So that gives you a little little taste of um, of those two. Certainly not 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 a not a real uh, extensive uh, overview of either of those, you know. So, um, but it gives you a flavor, I think, of what these can do. And I think um, this auto bass was a little bit. I think I underestimated it a bit. Uh, I didn't realize what it could do, and I've heard a lot of people say, eh, it's not so good, I don't like it. And other people are like, yeah, it's really good, I like it. And I, th I, I kind of felt like, eh, it's a little boring. But I'll tell you what, when I put these other pieces in place with it, um, when I tried these other modules from Chem OK and popped these in here, which is, which is how they're supposed to work. They're supposed to work together. You don't have to use these other modules. You could feed other things into... Auto base, I'm sure, to do something similar, but they're very convenient, and they're you just pop them right in, you configure them. There's all sorts of settings in each of these, so endless varieties of things you can do on here. So that's basically one I wanted to talk about today. Uh, just give you an example of um, you know what auto base looks like with a little extra stuff going on, and um, you can give it a try and see if you like it. But definitely, I would say give it a fair shot. And know that, you know, it needs a little extra something to really show its, its true potential. That's it for today, folks. Take care. Thanks for listening.